It has been quite the year for Canadian country music stars, the Rec Laws, from festival performances to award shows to a collaboration with the CFL. The brother-sister duo have been going non-stop. This Sunday, you can catch the Rec Laws as they perform at the Grey Cup kickoff show in Edmonton. And we're so excited to welcome back Stuart and Jenna Walker to your morning. Thank you so much for being here. Congratulations. Thank um, you. Okay, so let's let's get right into this. <laughs> Lots have happened since the last time you were here, including that hit song. Um, the first time I heard it, I knew it was a hit. The first time <laughs> you, like, how did it work? And when did you know that you had something special? The day we wrote it, I think. Yeah. It's just like, it's the kind of, Thing where you write a song and lots of the time you don't even want to hear it at the end of a write but yeah. like after we wrote it all day I still had it stuck in my head I was yeah. like there's something to this song there's got to be something to it and then the, to, to hear it climb the charts and do so well have people singing it back to you at concerts Crazy. that's I mean that, I'm getting chills for you yeah it's been <laughs> it's been insane it's yeah. been awesome to see the fans react to it and just make it their own like we don't even have to sing it anymore yeah it's no, really you're right cool. yeah. oh that's fantastic now you also won the rising star award the CCMAs uh, a lot, like a, such a packed and busy schedule. Have you found time to work on new music? Actually, yeah. We, we went just went back down to Nashville, did some writing, which we were really excited about, and we're going to continue to do that. Um, we're going on tour soon, but definitely writing. If you had to pick one thing to do for the rest of your lives, writing and, and, and recording or performing live music, what do you pick? I think we've been performing all our lives, and it's like where we're the most comfortable. Like yeah. you'll definitely see us shine the most there. So I think I would say that if it was like between the three, but yeah. writing is just another entire. Yeah. It's another beast of its own. And You're then, always learning with writing. And then performing uh, at the Grey Cup, the kickoff show. Um, what can fans expect from this performance? <laughs> we just we did our first rehearsal yesterday, yeah. and it's gonna be it's gonna be exciting. Hopefully the uh, CFL gives us a lot of like lenience and <laughs> what, what we can and can't do on the stage. Now, have you been preparing and rehearsing in the cold? Because if you been listening to Kelsey all morning <laughs> it might be pretty cold in Edmonton yeah I yeah. know we're kind of gearing up for that we we kind of assume that we won't be able to feel anything by the time we're like on stage yeah. which be numb yeah uh, the big question though <laughs> who do you root for in this game Ottawa or, or Calgary like you got the hotbed of country music or you know Ottawa's closer to home <laughs> I think we were both rooting for the Thai cats to make yeah. it to great <laughs> yeah. Yeah. because that's our team sure. we're from Cambridge so uh we're indifferent. Yeah, we're, we're not going to say because yeah. you're stuck. You're rooting for an um, incredible kickoff show. A yeah. huge kickoff yeah. show. Yes, yes. Uh, talk, talk to me about working uh, together as a brother and a sister. Uh, they say, you know, working with family can be tricky. It clearly hasn't been tricky for the two of you. So what's the secret? Oh, we put on a good show. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been good. It's, it's fun to work together. I mean, you always have a piece of home with you wherever you go. And we connect that way. When we write songs, we're like, are able to like make eye contact and be like, I don't like that idea. But. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask a question that doesn't have to do with with, with music. But when you have significant others in your lives, uh, what what happens to the brother sister bond when you know you have <laughs> other relationships that you need to take care of? That's true. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> we're, I think if there is other relationships, it's nice to have someone that just understands. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. we're like. We're a team, so yeah. there has to be time for both individuals. <laughs> it's hard for me to find a girl that she likes. <laughs> <laughs> I am a little, I am very, very, very protective it's a tough of sell. Stu. And when did, um, whose musical skills came up first? Who, who developed into a singer first? I think I was singing, we singing right singing, off the yeah. bat. Yeah. yeah, I really loved to just like perform and entertain and everything. And he started to pick up the guitar, and I was like, "Perfect, yeah, was get like, on stage." I was like a quiet little kid playing the banjo. On <laughs> really? Arm, like just like hiding in the corner. <laughs> but then, kind of came out of my shell, became a real boy in the last few yeah. years. Hey guys, thank you so much for being here. Uh, thank you for allowing me to pry for a second there. But I'm so happy for you guys and for all your success. And I'm so happy that so many people are going to enjoy it this weekend at the Great Cup. So congratulations to both of you. Thank, thank you, you so much. And come back when you got new music. Oh, yeah. Thanks for having us. Awesome. Awesome. You can catch all the Great Cup coverage starting at 1 p.m. on TSN with the countdown to kick off a half hour before the game at 6.